Welcome back, everybody. King Ray 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 here. I'm your host for this evening. Today, we're going to be building that nice little clock tower that's right behind me. So, how about let's get into it? Oh, yeah! Okay, to start out with, we're going to need to pick up a few things. We need wood logs. We need cobblestone. We're also going to need to pick up stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, chiseled stone bricks, and regular stone brick blocks. We also need cobblestone stairs and cobblestone slabs. more that we need are oak wood planks, oak wood slabs, oak wood fences. Let's also get some buttons, both tight. We're going to need science thing play. Trap doors, flint and steel, nether rack, and glowstone. So go through and make sure you have all this. Now, what we want is a 17 by 17. This will be our center. So go out eight that way, eight that way, eight that way, and eight that way. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that you have that done, these areas are a five wide area. Come over here. And then you want to go one, two, three, one, one, two, three. Do that to all sides and then fill in the grassy areas inside with cobblestone. I'll be right back to you. All right, now we are going to come over to this corner. Go one, two, three, place a block. Go one, two, three, place a block, and have it catty corner like that. We'll do the same over here. One, two, three, place a block, and have that catty corner. One, two, three, place a block, catty corner. One, two, three. Place block, catty corner. Now that's where the base of the tower will start. Next thing, you're going to be bringing this up for more. One, two, three, four. Place a chiseled stone brick on top. Do that to all of these. So the next thing you do, you can come over here and place corner chiseled stone on the four corners. You can connect them all. VI wood. Now what you do is you put heavy corners on all four sides like this and come up six more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put a cobblestone, I mean chiseled stone brick on top of each of these. Do that all the way around. After you're done with these, you bring them up by nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And no chiseled brick on top. Do that all the way around. Okay, there was one block that I forgot to tell you to get. It was a cobblestone wall. Now over here, we will go one, two, three, four, and place a stone brick facing that way. Put an upside down brick 
the right side. Supports on both sides. Keep it standing up straight. Put fancy decoration. More fancy decoration. Also, it helps support some more. Fence and, I mean, not fence, but wall, cobblestone wall and cobblestone wall. And now we do the same right here. One, two, three, four. Facing. Do more fancy footwork here. Uh, there we go. Now we connect these. Oops, connect these up. Doing this. And put an upside down stair connecting those two. Put a right side up stair facing towards the tower. And one more upside down facing outwards for a gargoyle head or a dragon head a fancy hanging off part now we'll be putting a stone there and there was one last thing that we need we need oak leaves to put it like that now go around all the sides and do the same thing. I apologize on this part it is a stone brick block uh, stone brick block yeah and then a oak leaf block and then stone brick block again. It's not two oak leaves. Go ahead and do that. Alright so the next thing that you want to do go around and add a fence single fence around on those corners and put a block um, a stone brick block above now you need to go get your button and place a button on these faces right here here and so on like so take your stairs go upside down stairs here and here across the entire area there we go next thing we do is we go one below this with an upside down stair and follow this trend once again Put this right there and then go one above once again. My apologies, we'll get back to that in a bit. Just add these all the way around and I'll be right back. Next you want to take stone slab, place one just above the stone, the, ch the chisel stone brick, and make a V shape like that. Do that all the way around. The next thing you want to do is take cobblestone and fill in the floor right here. Like this. But you want to leave a nice wide open area for the staircase as you go up. Now what you will also want to do is fill the cobblestone up until you get to this top part here. We will be removing some later on for the time thing play. So go ahead and do that. Now make sure you've got cobblestone brick block and cobblestone brick slab. I mean stone not cobblestone, stone brick block and stone brick slab. We are going to be doing an entire layer of stone brick, filling up this bottom area here. 
leaving the open area open. Like that. Take your cobblestone. Place them in the four corners there. Place one more down. Now place corner pieces like so. And then take your slabs and go slabber, 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 slabber. Slabber, 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 slabber. Like that. Next thing you want to do is take your glowstone, put a glowstone on each corner, and put a trap door on top, connecting to one of these pillars. Next, we're going to get the stairwell started, going up like so. Get your stairs and slabs and choose any direction you want it to be. Stair, double slab, stair, double slab, so on and so forth until you get to the very top. All right, I stopped just a little before because we will be changing things up as we get up here. Oops. Um, when once we get up here so uh don't worry about going all the way up okay now what i have in my hot bar is what you're gonna need for this next part stone brick stairs cobblestone wall wooden trap door glowstone netherrack flint steel sandstone clay and a button stone button at that all right so First thing we need to do is put stairs facing towards each other like this, going all the way out. Actually, these need to be coming in like this. Now we got stairs on top of those facing inside. Take your sign stain clay, break the block, break the block, break the block, put a glowstone in the center, learn trap door. Bam. Cobblestone wall, cobblestone wall, upside down stairs facing towards each other. And you want a right side stair going up here, upside down. No, nope. going out also. And then right side facing towards each other like that. Lastly, you want to have upside down facing towards each other and a stair going right side facing outwards. Next thing we want to do is to take a upside down stair here and here like this. Bring it up one bring out like a flower like that and then you need an anvil I keep on forgetting blocks <laughs> so you put an anvil there and there we're going back down a little bit so just above this here, we want to put a let's take those out stone brick and stone brick. Put upside down stair, upside down stair, a chisel stone behind those. And then you put netherrack, netherrack, fence, I mean not fence, but trap doors. Make it on fire like that. 
put a right side stair facing out, upside down stairs, flowering out. Then you take your button and put them on the two edges like this. Take a cobblestone wall and put them on the chisel stone that is facing, uh, that has no face, ha has face facing up, sorry. Up here, we're going to take a stone brick block into walls like that. Go do all that all the way around. I'll be right back to you. Okay, time for the next part. If you haven't caught up, make sure you keep pausing this. You want a down, up, down, and a right side up, facing towards each other like this. Once again, the pattern of clay, glowstone, clay, wooden trap door cobblestone walls and upside down stairs. This time you'll want stone slabs which will be like that. Over on the sides here upside down stair right side up like that place cobblestone walls. Do that all the way around also, what you'll want to do is add two oak fences. So you go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back to you. Alright, so next, we want to put a line of glowstone across on all sides like this. That is crucial! <laughs> Now, we want a 3x3 three three area like that, and another line of glowstone going across the top part like this. Make that 3x3 three three area. This is where the clock face is going to be. Next, let's take wooden buttons this time. The one there, there, and there. And the fence goes straight up. Do that on all the sides. Wooden buttons. Go like that. Fence goes straight up. It's 12 o'clock midnight or noon, whatever you want it to be. Now, we'll take um, stone brick stairs and begin right there. Go upside down, facing away like a flower. Do that again, upside down, like a flower. Now this time we put cobblestone walls. If I stop breaking everything. that and like that do that to all the sides and we'll be right back next thing you want to do is put chiseled stone brick on four corners take your fence I mean you bore on cobblestone walls Put one below it, and then your fence, you will take and go two below, like that. Now here comes the fun part. We are going to start making the rooftop. Now, to begin making the rooftop, 
we're going to want to get out our stairs and slabs and our stone different kinds of stone bricks our cobblestone walls not different kinds of stone bricks but just cobblestones sorry um one last thing I'm looking at. Don't think we'll need. Yeah, we want to do it. Now, to begin off, we put a slab on top of each of these here. And I just got a message. Um, be right back. Okay, sorry, that was my brother. Okay, now we put slabs underneath like that. Sides. And then we're going to have it come up one. And once again, let me see something. Yeah, once again, it comes up one. And right here is going to be a stone brick. I mean, a cobblestone block with a cobblestone slab on top. Take cobblestone stairs and do that. Do the same over, I mean take your cobblestone uh, slabs and come across. Oops, keep on breaking things. like that. Do the same here. Like that. Do that all the way across around. Alrighty then. Now we are ready. My mouse is messing up too. <laughs> um to put in these corners. Just making a big deal for corners. Don't worry about me. <laughs> All right, now that we put in these corners, go to these blocks here and put cobblestone walls. Like so. And then take full oak wood plank from behind. that. Go up again. Like that. Alright, this is hard work, isn't it, guys? Now we go up here. Take your stone brick and have it go all the way through. Make sure you do that and top it off twice and a cobblestone. Take your slabs, make this go one above all of these wood pieces like that and take your oops, um if I keep on not grabbing it full plank block up like that, then your slabs, will go like that. So actually all you need is uh, 
four block right there. On the top of those logs. Now the last thing you want to do is get that and pull it around like so. And there you have it. You have built the clock tower. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a big fat like. And if you haven't subscribed, come on and come subscribe. I make very good content. I will catch you lords and ladies next episode. Bye-bye now and enjoy. Peace.